hey you guys right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make bows look at how cute they are i wanted to go ahead and make a couple of these for my godchild and i picked up the pattern from my cricut i'm gonna go ahead and link the size down below so you have the size of the bows that i made go ahead and grab the pattern from your cricut it is free I'll try to link it down below to see if you can get the same pattern and I'll also link the measurements. Hopefully that will help you, but this is how it's going to look. You get a bigger one, a smaller piece, the back, and then the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the middle and I'm going to go ahead and bend this. And then I'm going to press it. This material is a light fabric, and I'll go ahead and link um, the place where I got it. It was really cheap, and it worked very well with my Cricut. I'm going to go ahead and put another piece of glue, and then I'm going to go ahead and press it down, and that is my first bow. And look at how cute that is. You can also use this for your arts and crafts, for gift cards, or wherever you want to add a little bow. I think that is a very cute idea. I'm going to go ahead and grab the second one, and I'm going to do the same exact step. This is a purple color, and I also cut some out in the pink, and this is a glitter. So this fabric was super easy to work with. It was really cheap, and I really liked it. It was only $5, I want to say. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some glue in the middle. And the bows came out really cute. I had no problems. Very easy to work with, and they look very cute. The end result was really pretty. So the next step is to add everything together. I'm going to go ahead and glue it all together. I'm going to start with the bigger piece first. I'm going to add some glue in the middle. And then we're just going to apply the bigger bow and glue it down. Go ahead and press in the middle just so everything stays nice and hold it for a couple of seconds until it's nice and pressed and the glue dries a little bit. Then we're going to go ahead and add the smaller bow on top. And then we're going to press it together. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our middle piece and that's going to attach everything together. But look how adorable it came out. Isn't that cute? I picked up these clips at Michael's and they were only $3 for 12 pieces. So I thought that was very affordable. Go ahead and use your 20% off coupon. Or if they have a 40% off, you can also use that. I'm going to go ahead and put glue in the middle just a little bit so I can attach it from the middle before I flip it to the back. Press on it and then go ahead and flip it and we're going to attach this together. Now there's many ways you can attach this. It's optional. It's up to you. But this is the best way that I figured out that I really like. So all I'm going to do is measure this, cut it down, and make sure that I don't have too much of the fabric. You can also hot glue it in there. You can also add it after you're done with the bowl and then glue it down. You can do so many things, but this is the best way that I liked that I figured out for the bowl. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any comments. I'll also go ahead and leave my um, email down below in case you want to go ahead and send me something. Like you want to let me know anything if you need. I'll also put my Instagram down below. So go ahead and check that out. I'll also leave the link for the decals. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put glue on top of it. I'm going to put glue on top of it and not inside of it. A little dot right there on top. 
not inside, on top. And then I'm going to bring it up and then I'm going to close it together. And then I'm going to quickly grab the clip and I'm going to insert it in the middle. Now, if it still has glue, it's going to go ahead and attach it like that. So don't worry about it. That's the best way that you can insert the clip. It's not going to fall. It's not going to come out. It's going to stay in there. And then there you go. You have a adorable bowl that you can give to someone that you made yourself. I thought this was pretty cool. Now, you could go ahead and add more hot glue if you want to the back of the bowl. And then just press it in and glue it all together. It's optional. It's up to you. But it's not going to go anywhere. But yeah, I'm really happy. They came out so cute. That is an adorable bowl. Now you can make this bowl bigger. You can make it smaller. It's up to you depending on the size. My godchild is turning two years old. So she's very little. So I thought these, this bowl was the perfect size for her head. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and make it in the pink. I thought that was cute. And I'm going to do the same exact steps. You see how the back is just clear and the glitter is only on one side. So I'm going to do the same exact steps. I'm going to put hot glue in the middle. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to press on it. Make sure you press on it. You don't want the fabric lifting. And then put hot glue there. And then just press on it again. And that's really cute. Look at how cute they are. You can also use these bowls for your arts and your crafts or your paper crafts. I think that would look very pretty as well. If you're going to give them to someone, you can also put them in a bag. I'm going to put glue in the middle and I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Don't forget that the, you have to attach the big one first and the small one's going to go on top. You can also leave them like that. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to add some more glue and I'm going to bring it and I'm going to attach it. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And then I'm going to hold it down for a couple of seconds. It just takes a couple of seconds while the glue dries because it is fabric. It's not paper. But I'm sure if you wanted to make these in paper, you can definitely make them in paper. And then I'm going to touch the small one on there. And then I'm going to attach the middle piece. So look at how adorable it looks in pink. I love it. I love all the sparkle on it. And she's going to look so cute when she wears them. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did for the other one. I'm going to attach the back piece. And then I'm going to put the clip in. So all I'm doing is measuring it and cutting it. If it's too thick, I'm going to cut it a little bit thinner. These are very easy to make. And then you're going to follow the same exact steps for all the bows, no matter what size they are. I'm going to add the glue to the back piece, not the middle. And hold it. Bring it up and I'm going to glue it together. Go ahead and cut any axis that is sticking out with your scissors. And then insert your clip as soon as possible. And there you go. Now you have an adorable bowl that you can give someone. 
I think they're so cute. I love the colors I picked. They're going to go great with the t-shirt that I made her. But look at how adorable they are. They were easy to make, very affordable. Because when you purchase the clips, you get a ton more to make more bows. And when you purchase the fabric, it comes in different colors. So you're going to get a whole bundle. You're not just going to get these two colors or a sheet. So for five bucks, you're going to get a big bundle. But yeah, I love the way they came out. I cannot wait to give them to her so she can put them on. But they're adorable. And I chose the pink and the purple because it's going to match the t-shirt that I made for her for her birthday. So it's all going to go together once I put the gift together. I'm going to go ahead and make a video so you can see how I wrapped everything together. Make sure you guys um, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to link the link down below because I also take pictures there. And you could message me if you want to. But yeah, I hope you guys make it. And if you do, go ahead and tag me. I would love to see how your bows came out. But I'm very happy with this one. This is my first time making them. And I thought they came out pretty cute for being my first time. And then adding the clip on there for the hair was very affordable. Like I said, you get 12 of them for 3 bucks. Go ahead and use your coupon. And Michael's always use a coupon. And until next time, bye you guys.